Okay, see you later. D, we've been here over an hour. Are you ready to go yet? No, I'm not ready to go yet. I sent my chocolate malt back again. Okay, here we go, D. I hope it's right this time. It's right, it's right. Now just drink it, D. How much more chocolate syrup did you put in? Two squirts. Good, and an extra shot of malt? Yeah, but no more milk. That's right, because if you added more milk, then you need more chocolate, more malt. I don't believe this. Oh, there's no question about it. See, extra milk was just wiped out the effect of everything else I did. How true. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and try. <laughs> Perfect. Aren't you gonna drink that? Well, what's your rush, Raj? Rush? Where well, the only people left here is 7 o'clock, and Dwayne and Rio are taking me to a ball game tonight. No kidding. What's the occasion? It's his 17th birthday. Hey, all right! Happy birthday, Rod. Thank you, Shirley. Well, drinks on me. Thanks, Shirley. A strawberry shake, please. Okay. Hey. <laughs> now, wait a minute. She's treating us. I have to go home. So go. <laughs> you know I have to wait for you. So wait. <laughs> D, if you drink that strawberry shake, you're gonna get sick. Raj, sit down a minute. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're 17 years old, you ought to know a little something about life. <laughs> Everybody gets sick sometimes. Me, you, mama, even the president of the United States. But of all the sicknesses in this whole world, the best sickness to get is strawberry milkshake disease. So back off. <laughs> okay, try this one. Any sign of Raj yet, Rerun? No, nobody's coming. Dwayne, do me a favor and throw these bags in the garbage out back. Okay, Miss Tom. Thank you, sweetheart. Well, is everybody here that's coming, Rerun? Let's see. Everybody that's not here yet, raise your hand. <laughs> I guess they're all here. <laughs> Okay. Does everybody know what they have to do? You're all set. Hey, somebody's coming. Oh. Quick, get the lights. Surprise! Surprise! Hey, hi, hi. <laughs> oh, I locked myself out the back door. <laughs> here they come, here they come. You sure it's Roger? It's him. He's with D, isn't he? Of course he is. Then it's them. It's two of them. <laughs> Terrible things happening lately in this neighborhood. Like what? Oh, just people coming home, finding burglars hiding in the house with weapons. Weapons? Weapons? What weapons? I don't know. It's probably nothing. Weapons? Go ahead. <laughs> Raj, man, were you really surprised? Nah. <laughs> A little. I mean, I knew something was up. Your blood pressure. <laughs> Let's take out the birthday cake so Raj can make a wish, blow out the candles, and watch Rerun eat it. <laughs> Hello. 
happy birthday to me. Hey, hi, hi. Well, hello. Hi, Maria. Hello, Diana. You say it's all right to come, no? Oh, sure it is. Hey, Raj, look, I asked your mom if it was okay for me to invite a new friend. And she said it was okay. Okay? Oh, yeah, okay. If it's not, you can bring it to my house. <laughs> well, welcome, Maria. Hey, everybody, this is Maria. Hi, Maria. Are uh, you new in this neighborhood? I knew in your country. Yeah, Maria is from Veracruz. Oh, Mexico. That's my favorite country. I speak Spanish too, Maria. Uh, mi nombre es de Dueno. Hello, Dueno, y como esta usted? Oh, by all means. <laughs> hey, let's get some music into this part. Oh, yeah. Just stick with me, I'm an expert. Uh, what do you call this dance, Roger? The funky clutch. The way you sip. The way I sit? No, sip. You know, it's like, um, slurp. Slurp? Yeah. Slurp. Slurp. <laughs> <laughs> no, honey, if you're trying to kiss her, you're gonna have to sit a little closer. Sorry, <laughs> right. I ain't gonna make it, honey. Hey, Shirley, uh, give us a couple more sodas. Okay. Oh. Thanks, Raj, but you have spent too much money on me already. Money? Money? What's money? Uh, money is the 80 cents you owe me for those two sodas. <laughs> and money is 80 cents more for the next two. I got money. I got money in my checking account, money in my savings account, money in stocks and bonds. You got money in your pocket? <laughs> Come to think of it, we're not that thirsty. I didn't think so. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funny. Uh, uh, listen, Maria, um, I've only known you a week. Well, less than a week, really. <clears throat> and um, I really like you. Like the way you walk, the way you look, the way you... Uh... Slurp. <laughs> <laughs> Better than anything. <laughs> So I was wondering if uh, I could take you to a movie tonight. Oh, that's nice, Roger. But I already have a date. Well, dates are made to be broken. So you don't have to go out with the guy. Hey, 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 what's happening? What's up, Raj? Uh, hey, Maria, how you doing? How I'm doing what? Oh, no, that's just an expression. <laughs> 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 well, 
Well, look, uh, why don't you guys excuse us? We're trying to make plans for the Sorry, night. Sorry, okay? Raj, but my date is here. Huh? That's me, guys. <laughs> Come on, Maria, let's grab a boot. Today? Oh, come on, Raj, let's go. What? That's... Come on. <laughs> You're too much, Maria. I can't believe how much fun we've had this week. I know. I know I had so much fun since I came to this country. I'm glad. How about a couple of cheeseburgers? Aye. Everybody spends so much money on me all the time. What are friends for? Besides, the cheeseburgers were for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're my friend, Rerun. Well, you're easy to like. Do you mean that? I mean it, Maria. I'd do anything for you. You would? Sure, anything. There is some things you could do that would help me very much. Hey, you name it, Maria. You want to go to a movie? You want to go to the beach? You want a soda? You just name it. I want you to marry me. <laughs> I still don't believe it. I mean, I just don't believe it. Me neither. I mean, Rerun is nice. Terrific. He's funny. Great sense of humor. Fantastic dance. A lot of rhythm. But as a boyfriend? Nothing. <laughs> He's not very bright. Flunks everything. Overweight? Chubby. <laughs> He's not that good looking. Dumpy. <laughs> He's really not that great a dancer. He's clumsy. <laughs> so what's he got? Maria. <laughs> I got it. Hi, Rerun. Hey, guys, here's old chubby, dumpy, clumsy. <laughs> what's she talking about? Oh, don't be paying her any attention. So what's up, man? Well, when something big happens in a guy's life, he likes to share it with his best friends. Yeah, what's happening, Rerun? Sit down and I'll tell you. See, Maria and I had this serious talk. How serious? The wedding's Tuesday. <laughs> huh? Now, whose wedding? Ours. Yours and mine? <laughs> no, fool. Mine and Maria's. You're gonna marry Maria? Yeah. Aren't you gonna wish me luck? Yeah, Rerun, lots of luck. You're gonna need it. I liked it better when you were gonna marry Dwayne. Reba, how can you get married so soon? You just met her. You're only 19. You haven't even finished high school yet. <laughs> You're just in no shape to get married. Um, you know what I mean. Why don't you leave the guy alone? He's in love. Who said anything about love? Sometimes people get married for other reasons. Other reasons? I'm too young to handle this. See, I'm only marrying her because she's an illegal alien. She doesn't have a father? No, Dee, an illegal alien is someone who has snuck into this country. Wait a minute, you mean Maria snuck into this country? She didn't exactly sneak in. She just forgot to stop at the border. <laughs> And if they find out, they'll deport her, right? And a mother. But if she marries me, she can stay here. Then we'll send for a mother later. So you're going to marry her and have a wife and a mother-in-law? That's right. And then maybe you'll even have some kids. Oh, come on, Dwayne. <laughs> no, really. Having kids while you're young is good, Rerun. You can play ball with them, go to the zoo with them. You can even go to high school with them. <laughs> how it turns out. Now listen, listen to me. The one thing I don't need is a lecture on how stupid it is for me to get married. You won't hear any lectures from me. I just want to tell you how stupid it is for you to get married. Yeah, Rerun, really dumb. Well, we're getting married, and we're getting married Tuesday. All right, well, where are you going on the honeymoon? There's not going to be a honeymoon. No honeymoon? No. At all? At all. Wait a minute. 
Your man Maria to do her a favor, and you're not getting any kind of a honeymoon? <laughs> That's right. Boy, Rerun, you're the finest person I ever met. <laughs> well, what about the wedding arrangements? I I'm taking care of all that. I even got a ring. <laughs> it's right here. Wait a minute, Rerun. You got the wedding ring out of a bubblegum machine? I don't think she's gonna be too thrilled over a Batman Dakota ring. I spent 12 nickels trying to get that thing. <laughs> well, I'll think of something now. Uh, what about flowers? For what? For the bride. Oh, never mind. Dwayne, help him find a good ring and I'll take care of the flowers. All right, where you going, Raj? To get something to drink to toast the bridegroom. I'm really nervous. I'm glad you're my friend, Dwayne. Do you have any advice you can give me? No, I don't have any advice I can give you, but I'll give you a quarter for that decoder ring. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, on this very special occasion, when one of our trio is about to marry a wonderful girl, I would like to propose a toast to Rerun, the greatest friend a guy ever had. Cheers. A guy who you could count on. <laughs> a guy who will stick by you through thick and thin. Freddy Stubbs. Down the hatch. Whether in the classroom, <laughs> the playground, in the kitchen, the living room, the soda shop. Raj, would you hurry it up? The wedding's Tuesday. <laughs> I wish the judge would hurry. I want to get this over with. Rerun, I had no right to ask you to do this. If you want to change your mind, I will understand. I don't want to change my mind. Let's just do it before I change my mind. <laughs> Rerun, don't be so nervous. Relax. What's up, man? Hey, hey, oh, All right, how about one of the bride and the groom for the school newspaper? Yes. Cut it out, Marvin. How'd you find out? Dwayne told me. It's OK, Rerun. They are friends. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Mm. Well, here, Rerun, I got a wedding present for you. Thanks a lot, Shirley. But you really didn't have to. The marriage is only going to last a week. Well, that's a fine attitude. <laughs> you don't understand. We're only getting married so Maria can stay in the country. Yes, as soon as we can, we get it announced. Oh, no. Give me that sucker back. <laughs> now, where's the happy couple? Oh, I'm Judge Barnes. Congratulations. I hope you two will be very happy. Huh? Aren't you the groom? Uh-uh. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I thought you might like these. Oh, Roger, you are so thoughtful. Very well. Now that the groom has arrived, shall we proceed? Wait a minute. He's not the groom. I am. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Truly sorry. Very well. All the papers seem to be in order. She means yes. Yes. Now, who's got the ring? Me. What kind of a ring is that? That's my senior class ring. I've had it for three years. I see. Now, we are gathered here to join this couple in the bonds of matrimony. Oh. <laughs> Do you, Frederick J. Stubbs, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I guess so. You guess so? Well, I do. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me, are you sure you two have thought this over? Sure, we thought it over. Okay. Now, do you, Maria Torres, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? Oh. If it's okay with rerun. Rerun? That's me. She doesn't know my real name. Wouldn't you two like to give this some more time? Get to know each other better? The marriage would have a much better chance of working out. That's okay. It's only temporary. Wait a minute. Are you two in some kind of trouble? No, nah, she's just an illegal alien. Oh, Dwayne! <laughs> now I understand. No, look, we're just trying to help her out so she doesn't get deported. Well, you know, even if she gets married, she would still have to leave the country. 
I would? I can stay, can I? <laughs> but there are other ways for her to come into this country legally. There are? Sure, and I'll be happy to tell you about them. I'll help you any way I can. Hey. Now, do you still want to get married? No. That was delicious, Mrs. Thomas. You got anything else? You haven't stopped eating since you got here. I always eat when I get nervous. And I always get nervous when I go before a judge. It runs in my family. <laughs> well, this judge really uh, sounds like a nice man. He was. He told Maria she could come back into the country on a student visa. Hey. Or if some American family went to Mexico, they could adopt her. Oh. Maybe we could adopt her. Oh, stop. <laughs> Okay, how about a straight trade? Maria for D. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Was that Raj? And Dwayne and Rerun. And Rerun's wife? Rerun doesn't have a wife. She doesn't have a wife? Mm -hmm. Met girl a week ago, got married this morning, divorced this afternoon. Well, that's Hollywood. <laughs> Man, talk about close calls. I was almost Mr. Maria Torres. <laughs> Man, I'm never gonna let anybody rope me into getting married. Oh, uh, you'll change your mind once the right girl comes along. How will I know when it's the right girl? You'll know, kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the girl of my dreams already picked out. Yeah, who is she, Raj? Oh, I don't know yet, but I know what she'll be like. She's gonna be warm, caring. Loyal. You're gonna marry a cocky spaniel? <laughs> okay, tuna on rye for Dwayne. And one big burger for Raj. Mm. And a BLT for the heartbreak kid. <laughs> hey, Shirley, mm. you ever think about getting married? Yeah, I was engaged once. Really? <laughs> Yeah, he was our senior in high school, and he pinned me. What did he use, a hammerlock? <laughs> I'm serious, fool. Oh, yeah, what happened, Shirley? Oh, I broke up with him. Felt real bad about that. You know, he was real nice to me. He gave me a lot of expensive jewelry, rode me around in his fancy cars. <laughs> Yeah, he spent a lot of money on me. Wow, sounds like a great guy. What's he doing now? Five to ten. 